Hey guys, it's Lemmy Max today, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a fog cannon. What I have is just a piece of 2 inch PVC. I don't know if you can see down there, but I have a nozzle right there. There you go, you can see it. Nozzle of uh, just a regular air gun sprayer. And what that does is just sprays uh, compressed air right into the tube and makes a little bit of suction and pulls the fog through the piece of vacuum hose I have here, which is clamped to the table. And you can see it got just about three, uh, three fourths inch space for the fog to suck in air, or it won't work right if you don't have that spacing. So you can't just put it right up to the fog, you gotta give a little bit of space for uh, the vacuum that the fog puts out. I'm running 20,000 cubic feet a minute right now. So it's a high volume fogger. And I'll, I'll show you when it's just pouring out of the tube, and when I add air, I'll show you the difference. I also just taped my controller right on there too, so I have easy access to it. So I can just run it manual or uh, continuous. But uh, also this setup, some people have asked me about this before. I just have the straw in the tank, because it's a new uh, tank. And I just put distilled water right in there, so I don't have to lo really lose any fog fluid. It's uh, just put the hose right over into the distilled water, and I can run it through my clean cycle. So it's just a lot easier when you have a new uh, thing of fog. But uh, I'll just show you how it works, guys. Now I'm just going to show you uh, fog first without air. So it's just no air. Now this is uh, air. And no air. No air right there. And air. Yeah, the air really puts it out there and just creates a better, high quality fog and can really fill up whatever you're doing real quick. It's a good Halloween setup if you want to put fog in a certain area or spray it to the Halloweeners. This is Lemmy Mex, guys. Thanks for watching.